Hey, check out this tip. Um, it's possible to have a mail merge campaign with follow-up from SMS texting. In other words, send out your mail, your email campaign, and then depending on your campaign, you want to uh, make sure they read your email in a timely manner. So you can follow it up with SMS texting if you get their mobile phone number, right? So if we go to over here, let's see, over to the response spreadsheet where we've installed um, one of those uh, add-ons for mail merge, okay? And you sent out your campaign, you got your status that it was sent, and now you want to uh, follow up with MS texting. Well, <clears throat> there is this um, uh, text G Blaster add-on for Google Sheets. It's right now it's applicable for United States and Canadians. Okay, but it's, it, it works. So what happens is once you install the add-on, um, what you do is you it creates this text G Blaster sheet all by itself. So here's where you would type in your message like, hey, let's say I want to take advantage of this thing called dynamic texting, right? Uh, please uh, find and read our uh, email from our company or something like that, right? Uh, oh, I should say and reply to it. Thanks. Uh, so you can't reply, to, they, they, you can't accept responses in your text. So that's why you want to tell them to reply to your email, right? So I, I want to bring over the phone numbers from the form response sheet, as well as, in this case, the name of the person, okay? So what you do is they have this import range and you click on it, it doesn't allow you to use, or in other words, the import range function with Google Spreadsheets is not compatible. So they created their own import range. And all you do is you copy in this spreadsheet URL, the sheet name, which is form responses one, and it needs to know where the phone number is and the uh, your the name that you want to uh, merge with. So. As you can see in my example, the mobile phones is in column C. Well, actually it starts at C2. And I, I put C10 in there, even though I only have one. Um, and then for the dynamic text range that we want to populate here, I want to replace with their name, which is here, starting at B2. And then you can even have it remember this import range for the next time. So it's your choice if you want to remember that or not. So what happens is when you click uh, import, it will populate column A and column C. It says nine because of the range, even though there wasn't any there. Uh, and then you just simply hit the back button here at the top. And well, let's say that I actually had more data. So if I use this technique you can use in spreadsheets here, they do have a copy down type of thing. So whatever's in B2, it says copy B2 message for all rows. You copy it, you click the link, and it takes it to the end. So that's a sweet little tool too. So I don't want to do that for my demo here. So if I click preview now, it shows this mock here, and it does sub it does the substitution with a for with a name, and you just click next. Uh, oh, by the way, you get fifty free credits. So you can send out fifty free uh, text messages if you like it. You want to do more, you got to pay for it. Three cents per message. So here, you just click send. But you have to acknowledge their terms and stuff. You, which are here and so forth, you click send. And 
And then in column D, it gives you the results sent successfully. And then if you want to start another batch of texting, they have kind of like a reset button. So you click that. <clears throat> and it takes whatever you had here into a archive text G Blaster. Uh, sheet tab. So you gives you a log. So check it out. It's pretty cool.